Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Ro. I'm a self-diagnosed shopaholic and today I am going to be doing a Fendace unboxing with you guys. I'm super excited, but before we get started, if you guys love luxury fashion or shopping in general, please hit that subscribe button down below. Turn your notifications to know when I post my next video. I've been running errands all day, so I look like a complete mess, so I'm so sorry, but I saw this at my front door when I came home, and I knew I needed to do my first impressions with you guys, so I needed to film this video now because I can't wait to look at this item. I just want to start by saying thank you to everybody who has reached out to me after you guys saw my first video of explaining how I got my order canceled three times from Fendi, Fendi over this Fendace collection. I was so happy, and then I got my dreams crushed when I saw those cancellation emails. So I am so happy that you guys reached out and thought of me and tried to help me get an item from this collection. I ended up getting this item from my essay and she is working on another item for me. So I'm just on a waiting game right now to see if I can get the denim um, baguette. I'm really excited. Hopefully I can get it, but I am at least happy with getting one item from my wish list. So here she is. I'm so glad that my essay gave me a shopping bag because it is so gorgeous. And then the little ribbon, I can see like a little sneak peek of it. Everything is so cute. I think that this packaging is done so well. So let's unbox her together. Oh my God. Okay, this collection is done really well. The receipt envelope is even the Fendace envelope. Oh, so pretty. Let me make sure this is my receipt. But yeah, this is just my receipt. It's done so well. I'm so happy with that. Okay, now let's look at this. So this is part of my wish list. I talked about this in the video. If you guys haven't seen it, I will link it here for you guys so you guys can check it out. I explain how my order got canceled three times and I show you guys the other items that are on my wish list from this collection. But oh my god, even the dust bag. <laughs> I, I just like how everything is like coordinated. It's so good. Okay, this dust bag is so cute. This is a small item. I got a nano bag at. Let's look at her together. The clothespin is so adorable. Okay, so let me see. Oh my god. She is gorgeous. This is the nano baguette from the Fendi um, website collection, the Fendi side. Um, Versace also came out with their Fendace um, nano baguette as well on their website. That one was completely sold out before I can even get my hands on it. This one was the one that kept canceling on top of the silk baguette that I was trying to get. So this one kept canceling. So I'm happy that I, my essay got this one for me. The sticker is still on there. Oh, I get so happy about stickers. It's so satisfying to peel, the, peel this sticker off. Oh, it's so good. Oh my God. Okay, there it is without the sticker. And then the clothespin on top. I really like this clothespin if it like stood up. I'm hoping that it stands up like this when I use it. This clothespin, however, I don't, let me know if you guys have this and if you guys have this problem. Or I don't even know if it's a problem, but it's just what I'm seeing. This clothespin is not straight. I don't know if you guys can tell, like right here, it's like it dips down a little bit and then it comes back up. Huh, I wonder why. I don't know if that's part of the design or if it's just a faulty one. You know, my luck with <laughs> things. Um, I don't know. So please let me know. It just divots a little bit. It's not a big deal. I still really like it. Then let's take a look at the inside. Oh, the inside is gold and there's more Versace. This is just the tag. Okay. This is the tag and then the chain chain looks like it's a little tangled up okay so let's look on the inside and then we'll talk about the chain 
This is the inside. It's super tiny. It can fit cards. It cannot fit a card holder. There is like, it's not really a card slot because it goes all the way through. Like it's not an actual pocket, but I assume that you can put cards in this slit area and then you can still put like some lipsticks in here as well. Let me try to figure out this chain situation. Okay. This chain is different from the normal nano baguettes that Fendi comes out with. Their chain is, I believe, a little thicker than this one. This one is pretty thin. Here is what the chain looks like. And this is adjustable with a little ball, I think. Let's see. Do you just pull this? How do you do this? Let's see. Okay, so yeah, you just pull this little ball to um, decide on which length you want. Okay, here is what this looks like. This is not coated canvas. So this is just regular canvas. It is not coated. So pretty. Let's give a little back. This is what the back looks like. Here's a 360 of the bag. I'm so sorry that I'm like a little all over the place. I am just mesmerized by how pretty this is. I really like this. Now let me figure out this chain and then show you guys what this looks like on. Here is what this looks like on its longest length. I am 5'4 and it sits right on my hip and it is the longest length that this chain has. It's super cute. It's so tiny. I wish this safety pin would stand up um, on its own a little better. I feel like every little touch, every movement just kind of brings the safety pin down. So I really hope that I can figure out how to like make this stand a little better, but it's still super cute. And then let me show you guys the detailing on this chain. Like I said, you guys just pull this little ball to whatever length that you would want. And then this ball actually has a Fendi logo. Like it just spells out Fendi on this little ball. It's super cute. So I make it a little shorter for a shoulder length or whatever length that you guys would want. Oh, it's so adorable. This would look so cute if I was wearing a dress. Oh. I can't wait to use her. It's adorable. And let me show you guys a little 360 again of this bag. And then let me show you guys the inside again. So it is just one pocket, basically this one. I'm not really sure what this would be called. It doesn't, it like doesn't have, it's not really a pocket because it opens on the, at the bottom there. So it's just like a slit in there. And then it says Fendi and is a gold leather on the inside. The outside is a canvas. It is not coated. My final thoughts on the Nano Baguette. I do think that she is stunning. Like this collection was so beautiful. Everything was gorgeous. But would I recommend her? I would recommend her if you guys were looking for a tiny bag that would only hold a few cards, a key fob, and maybe a lipstick. I would definitely recommend her if you guys were looking for a tiny bag, but if you guys were looking for something more practical, I don't think that she is the one because she is very tiny and she can't hold very much. So I do not recommend her if you guys are looking for something more practical. Let me show you guys what she looks like compared to my phone. So my phone is an iPhone 13 Pro. This is just the normal size and this is how it compares to the phone. Like the phone is like at least two inches bigger than the baguette. So it really can't hold much but she is stunning and I'm very happy that I have her in my collection but I just want to let you guys know that she does not hold very much at 
Oh, she is just very cute. I do think that I will be keeping her as it is so hard to get anything from this collection right now. So I'm just very happy that I was able to get her. But I would love to know what you guys think of her. So please leave me comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a like. And also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button down below. Turn your notifications to know when I post my next video. I will also be doing a next giveaway at 500 subscribers. So please stay tuned for that. And I hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye!